We're the Magic Trees, and you're listening to Showcase with Paul and Lucy. So anyway, you just mentioned that you've written a special book to celebrate the uh, the Diamond Jubilee, haven't you? Tell us a little bit about that. <laughs> yes, yes, I have written a book to celebrate the Jubilee, but uh, it's not your everyday book, Paul. We've seen so many books come out that are are about the Queen's legacy, 60 past years, uh, from princess to queen. Uh, it's it's just amazing how many products are out there. But none of the books really divulge any sort of information about the queen's favorite tipples. And for 60 years being on the throne and throwing back a few, if you will, I'm surprised no one else has done a book like this. So the book itself goes into not only the wine cellars of the palace, but dissects the royal family's favorite drinks from Queen Victoria right down through Queen Elizabeth II and and beyond to the younger royals. So as we know, we do have uh, quite an interest in the party prince, being Prince Harry, with his uh, debacles, I guess, if you will, going out and having a few drinks. But who hasn't had a few drinks and and lost themselves every now and again? So it's just another way that... um, shows the royals are just like, just like us. They enjoy their drink, and it can be considered a steadfast friend, if, as far as I'm concerned, really. All right, so, in in essence, you don't actually have to be a big fan or especially interested in the royal family to be able to uh, find something interesting in this book, do you? Absolutely not, and, and that's the beauty of the book. It should appeal to everyone, really. Those who might have a slight interest in the crown, those who might not have an interest... But the book is is a royal themed book due in sense to the Jubilee, if you will. But there's over sixty drink recipes of of nothing but liquid refreshment, <laughs> if you will. Um it also goes into a little bit of uh, cheekiness about preparing the drinks and how we go ahead and, and actually make them with the shaker or stirring them, which glasses to use, which garnishments are the best, uh, as well as uh, something you might find interesting. We did not go ahead and name any one major brand of, of spirit or liquor, mm-hmm. such as gin and, and those sorts of brandies and other liquors like that, because we're hoping to really have this book take off and to sell so many of them that we could do a special edition in which we'll be able to go to, let's take Tangeray or Gordon's, who have a royal appointment, and go to them and see if we can do something for them, not only sponsoring you know, the book to come out again in a, in a special edition, but to go ahead and sponsor some parties with the book in mind for the people at different pubs throughout the nation in London, London Central to go ahead and engage more people in do in the Jubilee spirit throughout the year. Most people are thinking the Jubilee weekend was the culmination and it's now over when in fact the Jubilee will last throughout the whole year. So we still have a summer of I'm sure warm weather coming which will all need a little refreshment and what better refreshment to have than a nice cool drink out of the book. Absolutely. I mean the, the the coronation itself was actually 1953, so that's actually next year, isn't it? So we've got, we've got this whole period until then to uh, celebrate and enjoy the drinks in your book. Yes, yes, of course. And, and the good thing about the book is that it's not just for a jubilee year. These these drinks are something everyone can enjoy for years down the road at parties, anniversaries, weddings, cocktail parties. If you just wanted to get friends together and just try a bunch of different drinks. It's sort of a cookery book, but for the bar, if you will, but in a fun, jovial way, which does relate a little to our national identity under the crown. So it's it's a book for not just now, but for several years down into the future. We could be using this book for another jubilee, let's say in 10 years, or the coronation of, of... what will be King Charles, and maybe even further down the road to King William. So it's a book that can last as long as we want it to. Brilliant. So if people want to find more, if they want to get their own copy of the book, what's what's the best way to go about it? Well, right now it's for sale on Amazon. We are dealing with a few of the better booksellers in London, more independent bookstores. We are looking, well, actually, we are in negotiations right now with a few of the bigger bookstores. Uh, But 
www.tothequeen.com is really everyone's best bet because there's PayPal there as well as Amazon, which uh, most people are pretty much ordering things online now. Sure. But the good thing about that is the people can send an email right there on that website if they'd like to have it signed and a little note given to them by me. Um, and they'll hold it back, the distributor will, so I can sign it and then off it will be sent. So I'm more than happy to accommodate anyone who would like to have the book and have it inscribed. I've tried to really garner the feel and spirit of the nation during this time to really bring everyone together through a drink because most of us will go ahead and toast the Queen, toast each other, toast the weekend. So I'd like to be a part of that for people, and I thought it would be really nice just to have a little note from me in the front. Excellent. So that's why I've offered to go ahead and, and inscribe it for people. 103.2 Preston FM, keeping it local.